Here is an alternative to VO3. It is none other than OV, which generates video with audio. For those who don't know about OV, OV is a video generation model by Character AI, just like VO3 and Sura2. But the best part is this is completely free and open source. And it also generates uh, audio with the video. Enjoy this moment. And it can sing, it can give sound effects, as well as multiple people speaking with lip syncing. You always give me extra foam. That's how I bribe loyal customers. It is the age of Ovi. I will never let that. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to use Ovi in Comfy UI. I hope you guys have already installed Comfy UI. But in case if you haven't installed Comfy UI yet, then I have given the link of Pass script, which will automatically install Comfy UI in your system. But make sure you have Git, Python, and Duplicate installed in your system. In case this script doesn't run on your system, just open ChatGPT and say, I'm using the system, like I'm using Windows 11, and I want you to update this Bash script to run it in Windows 11, and then you will be good to go. Before running this, make sure you must have at least 24 GB of VRAM and 32 GB of RAM and all these system requirements. So once you have your comfy UI setup, uh, I'm opening this on VS Code because I need terminal here. Uh, but you can uh, you just need a terminal anywhere. Just go to the path where you have comfy UI installed. Firstly, you have to uh, go to the comfy UI and then uh, custom node path here. So just type CD custom nodes then you just have to copy the link of this github uh, i will be providing this in our uh, description uh, just type git clone and paste this link make sure you are in the custom nodes path there just copy paste the command from the description and then just type pip install and so on. This will install all the packages required for this node. Uh, just let it uh, install this. And once this is done, after that, uh, we'll be scrolling down here and we have to just uh, copy paste all these things. We have done this and then this is also done. Now uh, we are here, we have to install this. Once this is done, you just scroll down and here you will see this command. So copy this and make sure you are in this path. Just type pwd and make sure you are in this node path and then just paste the command here. This will download all the required models so you don't have to do anything. Just wait. This may take some time based on your internet connection. If you have more than uh, if we have more than 32 GB of RAM, then uh, if we have more than 32 GB of VRAM, then you are good to. If we have more than 32 GB of VRAM, then you are good to go. But if you want to run the quantized model, then you have to follow these. Uh, let's just try this also. Just uh, make sure you also add one OV here. Uh, this is missing in the actual one. And after that, just copy this. And this will be downloading the quantized model. So this will also take some time and all the requirement is successfully downloaded. Just to make sure everything is installed perfectly. Just uh, make sure you have comfy UI RSOV folder inside this uh, custom nodes. And then in the models folder over here, you have OV there. And all these uh, two models are inside OV. And then you are good to go. So after that, we'll be running the comfy UI once again. For that, make sure you are in the directory comfy UI. And then just type Python and uh, main. And once it is running, you can verify this. Once everything is installed perfectly, either you can follow through or just download the JSON file uh, of workflow that I have given and then just drag and drop here. Firstly, we'll be having the OV model loader. So just type, uh, so just double click on the white space and type OV model loader. And just the first one, just uh, click on that. And then after that, just again OV and text to video generator. And the next is uh, OV image to video generator. 
and the next one is image saver i'm in video saver so video saves and the next one is image loader load image and these are the modules uh so firstly like just drag the node from ov engine to these both and image to here and then one more video generator i mean video saver and just video to here and and we are done so like this is how the workflow is created or you can also just do is like just drag and drop this json file and it will also do the same thing so but here we uh, have this so here is the most important thing if we have good enough uh, i mean uh, over 32 gb of vram then you can just disable both of this but if not then just enable this but remember you at least require 24 gb of vram so once this is done so at first let's uh, uh, create from the text so first i'll be deactivating this and from here you can just give the text of any uh, prompt for this let's go to the ov uh, website and copy the prompt from here and paste it on here you can change the video hidden width from here and a few other things based on your requirement uh, and let's hit the run button uh, so here you can see it took around 340 seconds to generate this clip. Uh, so this will be based on your GPU and stuff. Uh, so if I play this. Enjoy this moment. No matter where it's taking. Similarly, if you want to generate from image to text, just log this and activate this and select the image. Actually, then you just have to type the prompt here, but I would suggest you to go to uh, this github uh, of comfy rhov and then here's example prompts so if you want to uh, let's assume we want to have from image to video so we are opening this but if you want just from text you just open this and copy a, a sample from here so uh, since we are wanted from image so we'll be copying a prompt here and after that, just go to a chat GPT, just give the prompt and say, just write based on this prompt, I want you to rewrite a prompt for me and then describe your scenario. And if you want even better prompt, I would suggest you to upload that image also. But for now, we'll uh, work with this and we just go back to the comfy way and paste it here. And that again, hit the run button. And here is that sample. This was the input image and here is the output video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are thinking about this uh, purple thing, then so it's written in the prompt. So that's why it is there. It's not any defect. The only downside that I have faced is like uh, the video generation time is like too much around five to six minutes. If you want it uh, faster and without your system like for free, but for free, then you can comment down. And if this video get good response, then I will make another video where I will tell you how can you generate a video within 90 seconds.